against all odds, and he did it. Brock Mueller proved a lot of people wrong, and now he's sharing his story in hopes of inspiring others. Brock, thank you for being with us today. Uh, Brock uh, was in a car accident in 2007 with your family. Your father was killed. Your brother's girlfriend was killed. Um, you survived, but you paralyzed waist down. And he, you were told you had a 1% chance of walking again. And here you, you walk in the studio, you drove, it's well documented, of course. Uh, Elliot, his brother, was going to Michigan, and so you were inspired by the, uh, the trainer there. All right, now enough of that. You wrote a great book. Tell me, tell me what the latest is with you. I did. I've, I've been really blessed. I've been working on this book for a long time after traveling, speaking to schools and to businesses all over the country and into Canada. I've had people ask me, have you written a book? And I always say no, and finally I can say yes when someone asks me that question. Well, you, I guess my first thought is, what took you so long? Because it's, it's a great book, uh, it's, it's a tragic story, but, but it has an inspirational finish to it, and you have a whole life to lead. Uh, and, and where are you in your journey, I guess? And, and it's nice that you're telling that story. It did take a long time, but it's such a great story. I wanted to do it justice, and I wanted it to be perfect, and I wanted all these things. And, and I think it was the right time to, to finally form it and to compile it. I mean, I think we cut, ended up cutting what I had written by half to really make <laughs> it perfect and ready for print. And, and, uh, but it was a journey. I think it was a very, uh, a very good part of my growth. And, and as I said, I, w I was just so blessed. But the Michigan football team, uh, we really, I felt like, inspired each other in, in getting, to me, getting me where I needed to go. And of course, my brother who played at Michigan, he inspired me every day. My older brother uh, just really gave us that uh, extra push we always needed to stay positive. And here's video of you working out in Michigan. And it's just remarkable uh, that you could overcome some of these injuries because structurally there is such damage that you have to strengthen other muscles to be able to, it's, it, what's happening to be able to do that? Yeah, well, I do think it was a miracle. Mike believed it the whole time. He always had to convince me to believe it. I, but I was given, uh, I was very blessed with the surgeons at St. V's that took care of me, the doctors up at Michigan that kept me healthy. But Mike just, he pushed me so hard, so much harder than I imagined possible. And and we just reached and reached for those connections to be made, for the nerves to reconnect. He always told me, my, there's really nothing wrong with the muscles other than being atrophied, not being used. But the nerves were the problem, and, and we would just reach for, for new muscles to start firing and to build up whatever muscles we could find and, and built on that step well, by step. Well, years later, that was 07, being 2024, uh, do you have to work really hard to maintain that fitness to be able to sustain being able to walk? I really think it's a pretty normal thing as you're getting old. Like, I have to maintain it just by doing by staying healthy, I would sure. say. And so I'm, I'm fortunate I don't have to do the same level of workout I did at Michigan. I don't know that anybody could sustain <laughs> Mike the type Barwis, of workouts he'd love to torture done. the athletes, and he'd love to torture you. Absolutely. I always told him, we have a lot of people that are going through our First Step program. First Step Foundation gives other people the same opportunity I had. And, and that's the thing. I don't know if he loved me that much more or hated me that much more because he pushed me so much harder. But really, it blazed that pathway that hopefully we figured out the better ways to train people because everyone's different, individual injuries, different uh, ailments and diseases they may have. But really, it's about giving them functionality from some type of nerve or paralysis issue. And, and Mike gave me that. We figured it out together. He was with me every step of the way. And something I really wanted to do with the book was thank the university and thank sure. all the people that had done so much for me, but also hopefully give people a step-by-step -step guide on the lessons that I learned and give them some opportunities to self-reflect and do some journaling and, and figure out what their big goals are, what are their big challenges, how can they overcome whatever they're going through. So you spoke to the Michigan football team this week. Now, you, sp you do talk to other spinal cord injury people, uh, some victims. It's, it's got to give them hope to see you walking in like that. It's, it's such an emotional experience because I do see a, a reflection of myself being sure. in the hospital and seeing that, that hopeless hopelessness feeling. and discouragement. And it's, it's really a powerful thing for me just to be able to say, not, not that I know they're going to walk again, or any, but that they can get their life back. They can create their future. I think that was the scariest thing for me, being told I would never walk or yeah. I had a 1% chance of walking. What I heard was, this is the only future you have. It doesn't matter what you do. This is what your life will be. And I didn't want that. And I don't want that for other people. So to give them that hope that 
that they can be whatever they want to be and really dream it and, and build it and see that vision. That's what I really hope for people that I meet. So there's the book. You can get your uh, copy of the book, Beyond 1%, uh, Unleashing Your Potential Against All Odds, Amazon.com. You can get that inspirational story. And uh, Sir Brock Mueller, you are a winner. I, I told him when he first pulled up in the parking lot today, I said, I asked for the, the good-looking Mueller because I, wa I want to <laughs> talk to you. Thank you so much. So great seeing you again. You too. Brock Mueller.